friends. Welcome to Sunday, May 3rd. We are continuing our unit on caring. And the question that is being posed to us today is, how do I pray to God for help? And I'm going to show you how I do it. Today, I thank God for my good health. I thank God for my loving family. I thank God for my home. What do you thank God for? And my pows and my wows. Now that was a pretty easy one. My wow for this week is that um, my son, Forrest, graduated from Western Michigan University. So we now have four Broncos in the house. And that's very exciting. And my pow is prayers to the doctors, the nurses, the EMTs, fighting the coronavirus, and for all the patients that are recovering. Asking for this disease to be eliminated. I thank you for that. Um, our affirmation today says, I pray to God for help and I know that God is always with me. Today's prayer is as follows. Let me read this to you. In unity, we believe that God is answering our prayers even before we ask. That's why we sometimes say every thought is a prayer. That is often why we begin our prayers with thank you. Thank you, God, for healing my brother's leg. Thank you, God, for a safe trip. Thank you, God, for helping the scientists find a cure for COVID-19. Remember to say thank you as if what you are asking for has already happened. happened. Oh. Thank you, God, for your presence in our lives. We know that you hear us, and we know that our prayers are being answered now. We let go of our worries and know that we are in your caring hands. Amen. Now, you may be asking, how do we know God is answering our prayers when it doesn't seem like it? And I'm here to tell you. Remember that God is working within the situation, and then sometimes healing doesn't look like we expect it to look like. Sometimes God answers our prayers in ways that we don't expect, but that bless us nevertheless. He's always there. There's this 14th century German mystic. His name is Meister Eckhart, and he has a very famous quote that says, if the only prayer you say in your whole life is thank you, that would suffice. So remember to put that thank you in. And gratitude is a huge thing. Now, I have our story today is about 10 lepers. Now, a leper is someone that's got like a, it's a disease and it affects their skin and sometimes their fingers and they look kind of almost, I wouldn't say scary, but like they're falling apart. So this is our story today. While Jesus was on his way to Jerusalem, he was going through the area between Samaria and Galilee. As he came into a small town, Ten men, ten men who had a skin disease met him there. They did not come close to Jesus, but called to him. Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. When Jesus saw the men, he said, Go and show yourselves to the priest. As the ten men were going, they were healed. When one of them saw that he was healed, he went back to Jesus. Praising God in a loud voice, and then he bowed down at Jesus' feet and thanked him. And this man was a Samaritan. Jesus says, or said, excuse me, weren't 10 men healed? Where are the other nine? Is this Samaritan the only one who came back to thank God? Then Jesus said to him, stand up and go on your way. You were healed because you believed. Hmm. So a couple of our questions. What does Jesus wonder about in this story? Do you remember? Let's look back. He says here, weren't 10 men healed? Where are the other nine? Hmm. Now, according to Jesus, why was the man healed? Do you remember? He said he was healed because he believed. He believed and so it became true. Now, one of our unity principles is through affirmative prayer or meditation. I connect with God and bring out the good in my life. 
Affirmative prayer means that we speak positive words and have positive feelings about God moving in our lives. What happened in today's story that was like an affirmative prayer? What did they say to him? Did they say, all ten of them said, have mercy on us. That was a prayer. And then what happened that was good to the grateful man's life? Do you remember that? He was healed because he believed and he was able to go on his way. So that was our story and our questions. Now, our craft today, if you were in class, I would have made these out. They are called um, angel cards, but we're not gonna make it into a card. We're just gonna make it into a picture. And what they want you to do, it's easier if I just read it to you, the description. It says, in today's story, when the man thanked Jesus, he was also thanking God for doing his healing work through Jesus. We, too, can thank the people in our lives for doing God's work with us. Sometimes we call these people angels because they bring God's message of healing, caring, and love. Who are some of the angels in your life? In your life? Hmm. Mom, Dad, Grandma, Grandpa, your siblings. But right now, there's another one. Today, we will have the opportunity to thank God for the angels in our lives by creating angel pictures for them. You can decorate the angels any way you want. You may put the person's name on the banner the angel is holding, or you can write an affirmation there. Now, what I did, you don't have this to copy from, but you could make a little angel. This is the one that the book gave us. And I wrote who I was thankful for, like my hero, heroes are the doctors and the nurses. You could have just as easily put farmers, delivery men, uh, the UPS people, the grocery store. And if you don't feel that you are up to making an angel, and it does not have to look like this angel, it could be a boy angel, it can be not as elaborate. Or if you want, you could do hearts. This one says delivery people because they have been delivering so many things. There's groceries and there's things you can't go to the store for. And another craft that you can do is you can start an affirmation jar. And if you don't have a jar, you can start an affirmation envelope. Now, what you do to begin this, you just start collecting and writing down positive affirmations. If you happen to have the Daily Word magazine in your house, you can just cut those out and put them right in your jar. And you might wonder, why do I want these affirmations? Well, if you ever get down and you need a little encouragement, you can just reach into your jar, open it up, and read it. Mine says, I can make a difference in the world. And yes, I can. And I'm going to put it right back in there. And so you'll have a few to choose from. And they're a good little pick-me-up. Okay. Now let's do as I always do, the prayer of protection, which means we're wrapping up our, our Sunday. The light of God surrounds us. The love of God enfolds us. The power of God protects us. And the presence of God watches over us. Wherever we are, God is and all is well. Yay, God. Now, remember this week's affirmation. I'm gonna show it to you again. I pray to God for help and know God is always with me. I hope you all have a happy and healthy, happy week. And remember, you are loved, special, and important to me. Namaste.